Welcome back to this second video in the series of modern AutoCAD for Lance Obvious. In this video, we are going to plot this data we collected from site. So in the previous video, I have given you an overview of the AutoCAD. And in this one, we are going to use, use some of what we learned in the previous video to plot this data. So let's start with the bearings and distances. So in order for you to plot something like this in AutoCAD, if you have your data in bearings and then distances, you need to use a particular kind of expression. So in this case, the expression is in this format. You have the at symbol, then followed by the distance you want to plot, then you have the less than symbol, then followed by the bearing you want to plot. So for example, from point 0.1 to point 0.2, if you look at your Reiki diagram, you see that what you collected on site is from P1 to P2. You have uh, these regions there. You have the bearings as 277 degrees 00, zero minutes and then the distance is 30 minutes 30 meters sorry so this is from point 0.1 to point 0.2 277 degrees and then the distance is 30 meter so the expression will now look like this at 30 less than 77d d is for degree and then 00, zero minutes 00, zero seconds so this is how the expression will look like in AutoCAD so let's switch to the AutoCAD environment. So remember, if you open a new drawing, you need to do the settings. Already we have done it in the previous video, but just a quick reminder, you need to go to the unit, type unit, and then go to the drawing unit, and then you need to do the settings. We have done it in the previous video. So this is just a recap. Make sure you select the base angle as not and then select the angle type and then the clockwise should be checked because our BRE measurement start from the true knot in the clockwise direction and then our unit of linear measurement is in meters and then the we are using decimal uh, format for the length and then the precision is to three decimal places so when you are done with this then the next step is to copy the bearing and then the distance in the format of this expression. So you copy it since we are using the bearing and distance method in this case. So you copy it, go back to the AutoCAD, then you pick your line command. So instead of me clicking on the line command here, I'm going to type in L for line. And then press enter so just in case if you are not using a similar version to the one i'm using here you can easily type l for line and then enter and then the cursor will change to the line mode and then on the command line you can see that it's asking not to specify the first point so since we are using bearing and distance method we can click anywhere we don't have a it's assumed that we don't know the coordinates of the first point so we're using just plain bearing and distance so when you click anywhere, then the next scene is asking to specify the next point. So on the command line, you now paste the expression you copied to get to plot from point one to point two. That is at the distance less than the bearing. So when you paste it, then you press enter. So this will now plot from point one to point two. Then when you go back to your field data, the next one from point 0.2 to point 0.3 is 38 at 38 meters less than 53. At 38 less than 53, you copy the bearing. Then you go back to AutoCAD environment. You paste it. Or if you can type it directly, it's still the same thing. I'm just doing copy and paste to make my work faster. So this is now from point. 2 to 3. 
then we need to go back to the field node then copy the next one which is going to be from point four from point three to four so copy it then go back to AutoCAD and then paste it so that is from point four three to four then the next one is going to be from point four to one if you look at our Ricky diagram the next one is from point four to one so we can easily close it back or we can copy the data from the field notes so the next reading is from four to one which is at <clears throat> 26.6 less than the bearing <clears throat> and the bearing is 194 degrees 12 minutes 00, 00 seconds so copy it paste it and then press enter so you can see it's close back so when you are done you press enter again to terminate the drawing then you can now use z enter e enter to zoom to extend. So this is our plan. So assuming uh, this is the data you have is not in degree millimeter seconds. The data you have is in a is in coordinate format. Just do we have it here. It's in northern and eastern. So we can also use northern and eastern to plot the survey plan. But in this case, the format is a little bit easier than using bearing at distance. So the format is going to be easting, then comma, denoting. So already I have typed in the expression for plotting using coordinate, using the easting comma denoting, as you can see here. So for the first point one, this easting comma this denoting is already here. Then the, for the second point two, this eastern comma this nodding is here. Likewise for the third and the fourth point. So you can actually type in these expressions manually, or you can use a Excel formula to construct them. Especially the one for the bearing is a little bit complicated, and it would be nice if you can have an expense and an Excel expression, Excel formula to type in or to create this expression. But that is beyond the scope of this video. I think uh, maybe I'll have another separate video where I show you how to construct this uh, thing using Excel. So for now, let's plot using coordinates. So we now have the coordinates and then we have arranged them in the correct expression. Eastings comma node. Just so we have it here. Eastings comma node. So let's copy the first point. Then go back to the AutoCAD environment. So I'm going to delete this so that we don't confuse ourselves. So when you delete that, then as I've mentioned earlier, before you do any settings, before you do any fresh drawing, make sure you update your unit. Already I've done it, but I, I'm just reemphasizing it so that you make sure that your that your plan is well drawn and represented so usually i have seen so many people making that mistake they will start drawing without setting up the unit it's a very big mistake since all our survey measurements are based on units and we need to make sure that we are actually working using the correct unit so with that said to plot using coordinate you can use either point or cycle to plot the coordinate. So in this case, I'm going to use a point so that you will see how points are set up and how they are being uh, manipulated. To, to use point to plot my coordinate, I need to bring out the point style. So if I type in point type, from the point style dialog box, I can now choose the one that is suitable for beacon. Maybe I can I can use this to represent my beacons. Or 
I can use uh, the one with cycle. So whichever one, whichever one that is the standard in your uh, locality, you can use. Uh, you can you have you are free to use it. In this case, let me let me use this rectangle. Then the size. Let me set the size to absolute unit. And the unit is five five units. So point. I've I've picked my point. Remember that to get to that to the point styling, you type in p type, and then you get here, and then you can do the settings. So to now use the point to plot the point, I will now type in p o for point, and then press enter, and then now it's now asking me to specify a point. So I'm going to specify the first point using the coordinate. So I enter the coordinate I just copied earlier on. Which is this one? That's the coordinate of the first point. So after typing it, you cannot see it on your screen because it is way away from the present uh, screen view. So you need to zoom to extent. Type in Z, enter, and then E, enter to zoom to that point. So this is the first point we just plotted. Then if I go back to the field notes, I will. Copy the point for the second point, which is this one. So if I copy it, I will go back to AutoCAD. Then on the command line, I will type in PO for point, and then I will specify the coordinate. And this is the second point. Then if I go back, I can pick in the third point. Go back, and then. PO for point, then paste in the coordinate, and then I now have my third point. Then if I go back to the field node, copy the coordinate, that is the fourth point. Then type in PO for point, and then paste in the coordinate. So here I have the four points plotted on the screen. So if the beacons or the points are too large, I can reduce them by going back to point type and then reduce the size of the point, maybe from 5 to 2. Okay. So I think this is relatively good for me. If, I was, if I'm still not satisfied, I can go back and change it, maybe 1.5 in this case. So I think uh, this is okay. So then I can now use line to join them. I will type in L for line. Then use the line to join them. So if I want to be sure that I am here at the center of the point, then I used to I need to use a command, the osnapping command. So come to osnap. Then make sure that you have the node selected. Or to be on the safer side, you can even select all of them. But for point, I think node is the one we need. So select it and then go back. And then you see that you can now snap to the center of the point. Then make sure you draw the lines in clockwise direction so that the bearings will be well represented. So right click and press enter to terminate the draw. So from the shape, you can easily tell that we have the correct uh, representation of the Ricky diagram. So that is how to use the coordinate to plot. And also we have seen how to use the bearing and distance to plot the survey plan. So in the next video, we will continue with the other part of the survey plan drawing.